Hey everyone, I'm Cindy. Today's another drive day for me. I'm leaving Hillsboro River State Park in Thanonasasa, Florida, and I'm headed up to Ocala National Forest at Juniper Springs Campground. I've got a few more things I need to do to pack up. I'm just kind of waiting for it to get lighter outside. And I'll leave here and kind of take my time getting there. It's chilly out right now, but it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. The cell phone connection here has been really bad. I usually have one bar to no bars. Most of the time, no bars. Seems like at night, no bars. Uh, in the daytime, one. I don't think I've ever seen it go up to two bars. But uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to check my, my maps, but I can't. <laughs> so I'll wait till I get on the road. Oh. So I'm all set to go and I'm heading out. area about 37 miles from my destination. I'm gonna take a break, get some lunch. My check-in's not until like two o'clock. I'll probably get there a little early but it'll be a good break and then I'll get back on the road. Well, I was wrong, guys. I have 70 miles to go still. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got plenty of time. Site number 25. And boy, are these narrow roads. But if these camp RVs can get in here, I obviously can. testing my driving skills. It's pretty back in here. Here we go. site coming in here there were a few sharp turns let me show you what this looks like not too bad they stayed closed closed for most of the drive everything else is fine <laughs> so now let me show you my site so it's a pull through site there's the van. 
There's a standalone grill, something to hang things by, a fire pit, a picnic table, and a food box because there's supposed to be bears here in the Ocala National Forest. So I'm gonna get on my bike and check this campground out a little bit. It's supposed to have a really pretty spring and a creek that is good for paddling. I uh, don't think I'm gonna be doing any kayaking this trip. I didn't bring my kayaks. That's one thing I wish I had was a way to carry kayaks on this. I, I don't, the, 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 the top of the van is, is full of solar panels and fans and there's no room. And I don't know if I'd wanna carry them on the side in the back, I, I like being able to open the doors. Anyway, I'm going to have to think about that a little bit. But I don't have kayaks, and I don't think I'm going to rent any. Um, I don't know if I can, actually, right now. They may have not be renting them due to COVID. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. But uh, I am going to check out the springs. And the weather's beautiful. And the hiking trails there's some short trails that are supposed to be really beautiful as well so i came over to this parking lot and i just parked my bike and i'm gonna check it out the sign here and the map i'm right here and i'm gonna try to get down to the juniper pole A lot of places to sit and eat. This place is beautiful. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. The pool area here. But I can tell already when the sun is a little overhead, it's going to glisten like that blue color. What a picturesque setting. So here we have the mill house and it's right next to the spring here. I should say it's right next to the spring pool. Now Juniper Creek runs down past that way down there beyond the mill house and that's that's what i'll be exploring tomorrow so this campground doesn't have any hookups no water no electric so i get to dry camp and give the batteries a good test and my water which before before i left my last campsite i made sure to have all my water filled up i ride with a full battery so i should be fine <laughs> tomorrow should be a full day of exploring i'm looking forward to that i'll have a good night's sleep and be able to just stay active the whole day i'm looking forward to relaxing tonight though i'm gonna make some dinner here and then uh, get up there and just chill. <laughs>
So tonight I am making an, to, a tomato dish and it's kind of a fusion of flavors. So I don't want to say it's Italian because it's not. It's got Italian spices in it that you would typically find in an Italian dish, you know, the oregano, thyme, basil. Uh, but I also add cayenne pepper, a little bit of coriander, and a little bit of cumin. So I just like the flavors together. So <laughs> Uh, the basil is going to be fresh basil. <laughs> I'm making a mess. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like so far. It's just stewing right now. But it's quick and it's easy and it's late. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> but anyway, I need a clock for in here. Gosh darn it. I forgot the jalapeno pepper. I, it, it always has jalapeno pepper. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's a little late to add it now because I like to saute it first. But it'll still be good. <laughs> I also forgot the scallions. Scallions. I have both in my fridge right now. I need to sleep, don't I? <laughs> it's still gonna be good. But. I think it's done. I'm hungry, I'm calling it done. <laughs> oh well. Oh. I need to call it a night. I'm gonna eat and then relax. Uh, these drive days are gonna be like this, I think. But you know, I'm, I'm tired. I, I get drained. But uh, when I get to camp, I'm excited. I'm relieved. But I'm just gonna. I'm just ready to kind of decompress. And tomorrow will be the day I'm ready to get out and explore and I'll be relaxed and ready to go. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to call this video to an end for today. I hope you'll join me next time where I'm exploring this park more because it's a really nice park. I uh, hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.